seriously, if we want to have more kids, we should have them as close together as possible. What are you trying to say, Elena? If you want, if you want, you want to do it in here? <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it in the van right now or something? Is that what you're trying Is to say? Is that what you want, Joe? Is that what you're trying to say? First of all, I'm not talking about in the van. Although I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> It's time for the talk. What do you mean? Joe, you know exactly what I'm talking about. What? <laughs> you know exactly what I mean. You always said you wanted two boys. No. <laughs> That's what you always said. No, Elena, you always said you wanted more boys. And what's yours is mine, and what's mine is yours. That's not how you use that phrase, Elena. It is, I just used it that way. You ready for another baby? Joe, no I'm one's never ever, ready, Elena. No one's ever ready. Why are you asking? We can, because we can get ready. <sighs> it makes me tired just to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but seriously. <laughs> what do you mean by, but seriously? I like to have children evenly spaced out. I li I'd rather have them close together because right now we have a one-year-old and a 15-year-old. That's very far apart. That's every two years having a baby, right? Two divided by 15 is seven and a half. I should be four and a half months pregnant right now. But, but you don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, Elena, that doesn't make any sense. That You're not making any sense, Elena. Joseph, did you just hear what I said? I, I heard what you said, it's not every, making any sense. Okay, let me, do you want me to do the math for you? No. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Here, you hold this. This is very important. So, you say you want babies every two years, right? No. But if you do that, you'll have a I one year old, a three year old, a five year old, a seven year old, a nine year old, an 11 year old, a 13 year old, and a 15 year old, right? Yeah, but How I many never kids said is that? Before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, so we're one behind. That's what I'm trying to say. Because I no, have no, no, two. No, I never, no, I never said that. Right, this is too You're far saying apart. That. Right, because it's too far apart. We only have seven, and we're supposed to have eight. I should be halfway in between of having an eighth baby. No, eight, no. I should be seven four and a half number. months. <laughs> seven is my favorite number. Stop. <laughs> I should be seven and a half months pregnant. You see? So we have one. We have a three-year-old. We have a five-year-old. This is when it got thrown off. Arizel because she's somewhere in between. She's eight. See, that was the gap. And then I have an 11, an almost 13, and a 15 year old. So we have to make up for that gap. So nine plus seven, right, is 16, right? Divide that by two. Elena, you're doing some sort of like numerology type of thing. Right? Divide that by two, numerology. and that's eight. And divide by that, that by two, and that's four months pregnant again. So right now I should be four months pregnant. And if you turn this upside down, you'll see that really right there, that says B-O-Y for boy. <laughs> Total sense to me. But seriously, Joseph, seriously, right now I'm about to be 35 years old. Mm -hmm. Three plus five is what? Eight. Divide by two is? Why do you have to divide by two? Because that's half. And eight is eight kids. See, three plus, I'm about to be 35, please, three plus five is eight, divided by two is four months pregnant. Give me some more numbers. I bet you'll be eight and four. Nine. Nine what? How is that relevant to me? Family of nine. We're a family of nine, but we should be a family of 10. Right? We have 10 seats in the car, mm -hmm. right? That's eight kids. Two of those eight children. Eight divided by two is four. Four months pregnant. <laughs> no, but seriously. 
Elena, why do you keep talking I'm, about another I'm, boy? I'm I can't serious. just I can't just give you I can't just pull out a raffle ticket as a boy. I can't just do that. Elena. Maybe I said maybe another boy. God willing. What if it's just twin girls? That would be cute too. Okay, I don't mean that really though. We already have a baby. We need to no, name her she, first. She do need a name. What are we gonna have two two babies without names? <laughs> What are we going to call the new baby if we have a baby? We'll call them seven and eight. Oh, Joe, that's so cute names. Seven and eight. A seven. That's cute. And eight. That could start with the letter A. Eight. A-T-E. <laughs> or we can call it eighth. Eighth. A seven and eighth. A seventh and eighth? Yes. Like an eighth? Like one eighth? You like those names, don't you? Tell the truth. Mm -mm. No, that, that's really corny. Come on now. Corny is in, Joe. Okay, are you talking about adopting, though? Maybe in the future. That's when we're older. I'm not talking about adopting right now. Well, I mean, if you want an eighth, there's the options for adoption. I am standing in our den area that there used to be, like, a big great couch right here but I've been working hard to create some type of learning space for the kids going back to school this fall at the end of last school year it was very very annoying because we didn't have any learning spaces set up for five children to be online classrooming all at the same time it was just very difficult I've been working to try to figure out what this space is going to be and how we're going to use our house so right here, these are our built-in shelves, and I'm just working on how I'm gonna organize these. These are just all of the books that I have. I'm gonna go through these later and just see, like, this is what I got, okay? I haven't picked out any school curriculum, and I just have our games up there that we have. Over here, I have another bookshelf, which is all these books. They're not in any type of really good order right now, so I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. I bought, this little thing from Ikea to organize their toys. I was just trying to create this to be like a playroom for the little kids, like basically over here, this area. I mean, it's still blank. And um, this is where a TV goes. But what I'm thinking about doing here is having a projector over here and projecting the screen or whatever I need here and also putting up here one of those glass whiteboards. So if I'm teaching some type of lesson, I can write on here. But if I need to make it a projector screen, I can do that. This is what I really wanted to show you guys. This is what I got for so far for the homeschool room. I don't know if we should call this a homeschool room or a den or online school, but because I use these desks as well as the kids. These desks I just got from Ikea. And let me tell you something, Ikea does not have anything. Like they are out of desks, they are out of just anything that you need to create, any type of classroom, work, office in your house. They are literally out. I'm so happy they even have these. And I got these blue chairs here to go with them. And I got these plants. You guys, I have plants in my house. I actually bought these off of Etsy. So they sell potted plants on Etsy, which is amazing. They came really well done. So I got two of these beautiful plants just to make it feel a lot more vibrant in here. I feel like it does. And I just got the same, this is like the same desk and chairs. And they have like little drawers in here. So there are four drawers here and there are four kids who are on this side of the house. So I think I need to get like some more chairs for Azayo, Arizo, Ajay, and Audrey so they can each have their own chair. And what's good about these desks is that they're super lightweight. So I, like if I want to change them around, I can remove them. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that view. I'm still looking for like a rug situation and lots of other little cute things. It's not complete, but this is it. How do you like the new homeschool room? Good, now, now you just need to switch all rooms. I'll do everything in my room and their room. She's gotta pay me a little bit of money, or you take care of the budget, actually. I'll just click everything, I'll click, bye, 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 bye. It'll look so good. So, Amaya's trying to change rooms. Her room is currently on this side of the house and she wants it on the other side of the house, which we will probably do, but I'm not in any rush to do that, Amaya. I am, I'm in so much of a rush. It's in my plan of what I need to do during summer. 
during summer, your summer is going to be all year round because there's nothing to do. No, but it's like what I need to do while we're doing quarantine stuff. Like I got to do this, 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 this. Cause like, like once I have a clean, nice area that's organized neat and looks good, my mom will be like, oh yes. And every day I'll be like, oh yes. And I'll be like, oh work, let's work at this table that looks nice and clean. <laughs> And I'll get those videos. I like. Well, my I gave you a room and a table that was nice and clean, very beautiful. But a Kylie, do just in the state of California where we live, all the public schools are not going back to school like in person. Everything's going to be done online. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to homeschool all of the children and just find activities, outdoors activities for them to do. We'll probably do a mixture of online learning, virtual learning. I think for us that might be the better option because you don't have to be anywhere at a set time or do anything at a set time. And for us, it really didn't work for all the kids to have like this set schedule of what classes they need to go to where. I feel like it's better for them just to learn a lesson, do it when they need to. So I'm thinking about doing online learning through the public school system. Another option is that my younger kids are in the Korean homeschool program and they virtually teach online. They have really good teachers, but I just don't know if like everyone should be at the computers at the same time. And on top of that, I really don't want everyone in the house 24 seven. So I'm trying to find outdoor activities for the kids to do during the school year that are safe. It's really not safe to be out of your home right now doing things with other people. So I'm looking for things like private swim lessons where it's just my daughters getting swim lessons. Right now my kids are at a half day kayaking camp. Everyone has to wear a mask, they get temperature checked. Each child just goes out and kayaks on their own boat for three hours. If they can get out on a boat by themselves and be on the water for three hours, then in my house messing it up, uh, Go ahead and get my coffee, Joe. Can't. Here go, Max. Can't. I'm holding the camera. Here, Joe, go. I'm holding the camera. Joe, I cannot go in there. Why? Because I'm black and black people are more disproportionately affected than the Asians. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Sanitizer. So you know how I was saying like it's a lot to do with all the different age ranges? Yeah. That's why we should have them closer together. Like if we want to have, seriously, if we want to have more kids, we should have them as close together as possible. What are you trying to say, Elena? If you want, if you want, you want to do it in here? <laughs> <laughs> you want to do it in the van right now or something? Is that what you're trying is to say? Is that what you want, Joe? Is that what you're trying to say? No, is that what you're trying to tell me? Is that what you're trying to you say? Because I didn't say about anything about that. You're trying to sound like you, you want to, you want to um, take action right now. No, I'm so just trying to sound like you're in such a hurry. I'm not in. The, I'm <laughs> first of all, I'm not talking about in the van. Although I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> Make your decision, hurry up, have them. So they're all a little at the same time. They all look cute at the same time. They all grow up with each other at the same time. That's all I'm saying. And also then you put all your like child stress all in one 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 time period instead of spreading it out over just your break you all at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like having the benefit of having like triplets or quadruplets all at one time. Ellie and I have like no words right now. I, but no I'm, words. I wanted to, you're not seriously trying to think, consider. Huh? I know you want more kids. I'm not against it, but I'm resistant to it when you're pushing me into it. I don't have to push you into it because you'll just, you'll just fall in it by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'll just slip. <laughs> you'll just slip into the situation by accident. Why can't we like, Consider like a pet or something, a dog, uh, Joseph, or like a, know for us. a bird, or like a, a fish or something like that. We had a fish, and you know good and well that I don't like animals. The only way I would like an animal if you picked it out. We should, and it was an... like you, and then I would think it's so cute. Yeah, but we should also raise an animal that we can eat. Doesn't it make sense so that we get our money back? It's like a, it's like a, it's like a want. You're laughing, but that's what people do. Yeah, for like cows and yeah. chickens and stuff. Like that's all people used to do. You don't just want to have but a do pet. People, What's the purpose of that? Do people raise chickens and give them names mm -hmm. and then eat them? Yes, of course. 
that's why people in the, back in the day had so many kids because they had farms they needed someone to work their farm I'm not necessarily opposed to having more children same thing I'm not really opposed to not having any more children but I just feel like let's get our kids in our in schools or something like that let's figure out this education thing first because having more children and then not having or at least the fear of not being able to provide for them um, is a real thing but figuring out this whole schooling situation during this online remote learning whatever situation is it's confusing well i think that seven kids is a very ugly number seven is one of my favorite numbers i don't like the number seven eight What if I told you my favorite number was zero? <laughs> <laughs> One of the really great things about the area that we live in is, is that we live really close to the beach and near the water. So our kids are currently in a social distancing camp. Hi, Kai Kai. Oh, hello. How was camp? Good. I yeah. made these. Those are cute. And today we got ice cream and then tomorrow we're getting ice cream. Did you stay away from people? Yeah. Promise me you did. Hey, Arizo. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Uh, I did not go. What did you do today? Everybody like my okay. hair. What did you do today, Arizo? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. But today at the beach was super cold, and literally right when we were leaving, the sun came out. Really? Yeah. This he is about said the tomorrow sun. it should be like the sun should come out earlier. Come on, Azayo. Why are you guys the last people to get picked up every day? Because you, Ma. <laughs> um, no, because that. before. Um. Um, one, only one staff stays and all the other staff leaves. Yeah. How was what it? Happened last time. Good. Ooh. You made these? Yeah, it's only Just, one. It's one, one. <laughs> Oh, wow. I think it's 3.30, Akali, not 2.30. Ow, ow, no. ow. Yeah, Mom wants us to stay here. And if you're a minute late, one to Chingy. You guys ready for dance? Yeah. Yes. yes. Are we supposed to be happy? I was just thinking about what public schools and private schools have access to and what you mentioned some time ago. You were talking about how your sister went to a private school that was like much more expensive than the private school that we went to. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was just thinking about like the type of parents that were going to be there and and the the levels of aspirations that people might have. I mean, our children might have. Like for instance, like if we have kids who want to be doctors like there might not be actual doctors to talk to like the parents might not be doctors I'm not trying to stereotype or whatever but if you go to a school that costs a whole bunch of money they have to be making money somehow you know and they probably have to be a specialist of some sort and so if you're going to a school that costs let's just say like twenty to fifty thousand dollars or something like that and you want to be a basketball player well, what do you know? Like Kobe Bryant's the coach, or he's like the assistant coach, or he's he's involved. So there's a certain standard that they're able to bring, a certain kind of insight that they can bring to like career day or, or um, the basketball team or resources or whatever, versus like um, just, you know, local volunteering type of players and things like that. Like there's a certain way to learn things in order to get to that level. Just being able to have that foresight and access to those things, you know, I think that's important. There's levels to it, you know, I just feel like if you're in a place where people are not just high performers, but like specialists in their field, they can, they can kind of guide you in the right direction without just giving you just the basic knowledge of what everyone has access to. Either we can just sit them all at a public school and just that be it or decide to really invest in that education and send them to the best private school that we think is good for them. It's either that or just go the whole total opposite route and homeschooling alternative, alternative homeschooling where it's just whatever it is that we want to do, we do it, we figure it out. You know, if we want to go to a trip to Paris, if we want to on Monday, if we just all just want to sit out in the beach and just you know 
surf the waves or whatever that we have the option to do that and yet I don't know if I want to do that right now at the ripe young age of 34 if that's like what I want to do like I feel like I still have my own life I'm trying to do I don't know if every single day of the week like I want to sit around and do homeschool mm-hmm. or like not just homeschool but just have the kids at home if that makes sense so. You know what I like about this area though, mm-hmm. uh, California in general, mm-hmm. there's a lot of people doing unorthodox things or maybe even like very progressive things like online media and things like that. Like where we used to live, there's a lot of like, it's a very like traditional type of education, traditional like pathway of living life essentially. So I like how when you're here, when you say like what you do, people aren't like just kind of caught off guard. Mm-hmm. It's more like, oh, okay, cool. Like I know someone, yeah. or oh yeah, I do a little bit of that too. Yeah. And like it, it's almost like a collaborative conversation instead of like, oh, like you're studied like in an exhibit or right, something. Yeah, I feel like almost everyone that we've said like we're YouTubers, like oh really, like you know what I mean. Versus before, it's like what, huh? You're what? What are you doing? What you know? And also, what that means is that there. are risk takers you know because you're doing stuff that other people really haven't done before you're kind of like on the cutting edge of a job placement or like job opportunities this kind of goes into like public school and private school i feel like when you're in a private school like that costs a whole bunch of money you have to do things differently in order to even pay for that type of job i mean that that schooling Mm -hmm. i think they understand in terms of like risk and taking opportunity and investment people who pay for their kids education they're not as like skeptical i guess they have a different level of um faith in mm-hmm. in and different things whatever yeah. it might be and including in that investment mm-hmm. that's a big investment yeah 30 grand a year i want all our kids to be at one place would that be out homeschool or uh, I just like at least all of them being together at least half and half. Oh, she had her baby. Yeah, she's been having a baby. I never seen it. That's the first time I've seen her. I wanted to give her something like, you know, like back in the day. I mean, not back in the day, but you know, like back in the day where people used to give people stuff for having a baby. I wanted to be that neighbor because somebody did that for me, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> like to give someone a home cooked meal. I'm like. Maybe we just order them something. <laughs> give them a uh, gift card to like delivery or something. No, I want to do something like special, like sweet, like cook them like a beef stew or something, you know? Invest that energy into our own family. <laughs> Joe, I'm not in the time of my life where I'm cooking like that. I'm not in the time of my life. Right now, I'm a mom who loves to drink coffee. Mm hmm. And we can order out. That's where I'm at right now. Eat in and out. Mm hmm. Daily. I'll, you know, in and out daily, like once a month, if that. I have the cheeseburger with onion and then uh, three double doubles with onion. Three double doubles, uh, no spread, instead with ketchup and mustard with onion. Five fries and five Ooh. water. Baby, you want what you want? Mm. Me. Erizo. Azayo. Amaya, Kylie. So we just enrolled our uh, kids to uh, dance classes and it's held at like this big old hill that overlooks the city. Really pretty. Um, And so because of the whole, you know, situation and stuff like that, they have it outside and it's really it's actually really nice
say point it towards them. Press this button. See that button? Press it. See, Joe, don't you want another one? What were you doing? Put on a shoe? <laughs> All that just to put on a shoe? Black is brown, is tan, is girl, is boy, is nose, is face, is all the colors of the race. Is dark, is light, singing songs and singing night. Kiss big woman, hug big man. Black is brown, is tan. I am mom and mommy, mama, mama, mini ma and mom again. With mighty hugs and hairbrush mornings, Catching curls, later we sit by the window and your head is up against my chest. We read and tickle and sing words into the air. That kind of looks like you or something, doesn't it? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How does that look like me? Because she has curly hair. She has her teeth, little buck teeth. I'm just standing <laughs> up right here. Yeah? And she's standing on the chair. I am black. I am brown. The milk is chocolate brown. I am the color of the milk, chocolate cheeks, and hands that darken in the summer sun. Did you guys get darker from the sun? Yeah. Mm, yes. Yes. I am black. I am a brown sugar gown, a tasty tan and coffee pumpkin pie with dark brown eyes and almond ears. And my face gets Ginger red when I puff and yell you into bed. <laughs> Arizona and I tonight go to bed. <laughs> I am dad and daddy dingbat da and kiss me pa with a big belly and a loud voice sitting at my desk and you sit on my lap. We read and laugh and pinch the words into the air. And you say, you're getting bigger than me. <laughs> when I say, drink the milk. I am white. The milk is white. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you white? No, I'm just reading the book. I'm just, I'm just saying what it says. I am almond. The milk is almond white. <laughs> well, that's almond milk. <laughs> I am not the color of the milk. I am <laughs> off white. The snow is pure white. I am not the color of the snow. Do you know? This is white, right? Off is white. Off is white. I am. Off white. I mm. am off white. I am kind of light with pinks and tiny tans, dark hair growing on my Arm. head. And my face gets tomato red when I puff and yell <laughs> you into bed. This is the way it is for us. This is the way we are. This is a very diverse family. Does that mean? It means that every single person in this family is so different. Black is brown is tan. <laughs> is boy is girl. Is nose is face. Is all the colors of the race. Mm -hmm. Is dark is light singing songs and singing night. Kiss big woman. Hug big man. Black is brown is tan. Then. Okay, time to say our prayers. As I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. When in the morning bright I wake, Jesus show me the path of right to take. God bless everyone in the world. Amen. Okay, good night. I love you. Give me kisses. Give me a kiss. Hurry. 
Okay. I'm only giving that piece for a little bit. Thank you, Ajadai. Thank you, Suyo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Oh, you're getting so big as hell. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Oh, that was a head bite. Good night. Good night. You're sleepy. You're so sleepy. Good night, Mama. This is your dog. Oh, you want me to sleep with this? Thank you. This is my This is This is baby. This is baby. This is baby. This is baby. Oh, they're all sleeping here. In the spot. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I'm a savage. Or you can do five, four, three, six, one. I'm a cabbage. <laughs> Round, juicy, green. That is a rhyme. Tastes just like beans. I make you fart and poo. Fart and poo. I'm a cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> I just like putting my hands in your mouth. I'm gonna, this feels good. Am I the only girl who's ever cornered with your hair? Mm, I think so. Oh, that's special, bro. I remember the hairstyle you gave me last time. I mean, in high school. What? I don't remember. It was cornrow and then spikes, cornrow, spikes. <laughs> really? Yeah, and you used jam. Yo, if you give me some things right now, I could just think them. You would have them in the morning. I can literally cornroll your hair. Like, easy. You want me to give you cornrows tomorrow? No, not really. I don't, I don't want cornrows. <laughs> Heavy, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 no.